Yo, this new railroad update is sick, bro. It's like, dude, you you look. What are we? We're twins. We're it's twins. It's so good. You, I love this update. Why are you? Why are you con gaming three? Uh, cause the other two were taken, so I'm number three. Oh. Uh, cause number three is clearly the best. All right, yo. So like railroads online, right? We're gonna we're gonna build some stuff. Um, yeah, this is uh, this is Steam and Steel, which yeah. is uh, Greg Tame, who's a famous DRL Valley modder, uh, made this game in Roblox, and it's actually really neat. And so we're gonna give this a shot. It's actually so, is, it's like railroads online in the desert, and it's huge. It's like this what? map is massive. Look, so okay, so see down there, you can see it, Cactus Camp. That's the that's the lumber thing that we got to get to. I'm pretty sure. Right, it's the start of. We were looking at the, here. the, the desert, cargo The desert chain. map is new. Greg told me that the the desert map is brand new. I've not played on it yet. I've only played on the the primary map that he started. So this is uh, this is all new, and it looks really cool. Yeah. So, so the Cactus Camp will just supply us with cordwood and logs. And we can bring it tools as a bonus, but then we can take cordwood and logs and bring them back to our our depot here. I guess is what we're doing. Right. And then sell it. Are these cordwood cars? These are these got to be log cars, right? Little I steak think flaps? they should be able to take it. Yeah. All right. How do we how do we build track? I don't. How does this work, dude? Uh, uh I'm I'm working on that. Oh, I didn't want to place that. There. Why are you going that way? We gotta go this way. The, the, That's the, not the way to the cactus camp. It, I could literally camp see the cactus way. camp right down there. Is there another one down there? Wait, wait, are there two cactus camps? If you oh, were to okay, drive, I see. Up yeah, that little, up that little like, valley. Okay. Up that little valley there, yeah. And then that, I think they're almost equal distant, dude. Really? You think so? That's kind of interesting that we have two cactus camps, though. That um, one's definitely like one and a half times further away. Are you kidding me? How that do one? I build? Okay. I so, so you no. go, you you go, press B to go build mode, uh, and then you can click build mode, and then you can place spline nodes. Dude, this is great. Oh He's my. already figured it out, ladies and gents. Dude, this is amazing. Are you are, like I'm gonna, gonna build I'm to gonna... this cactus camp? I don't even care. We'll go to we can. Uh, I'm get, I'll, I'll start firing up the engine. Uh, I shouldn't be allowed to lay track. Dude, this uh, is actually do... like why does railroads online not have this build system? This is ridiculous. It terraforms the ground. It's got like I mean this is a pretty sharp corner. I don't know how much that's gonna. You can you can set the curvature and gradients if you want in with those two buttons there. Right. Um, yeah. I can and set then you them. have multiple spline types for like embankments and trestles and things. Do you think um, that's gonna matter? I, I think we'll be fine with that quarter, right? We got I mean, small... it'll probably work just fine. There is like realistic cutoff sim, so we might have to use a lot of steam to get up here, but uh, it'll probably be fine. Dude, this Speaking is actually of, uh, amazing. I let you build, and I'm gonna start firing up the choo choo over here because you know that's what I'm here for. The physics is surprisingly good. <laughs> is it? Is Greg, it like realistic? Greg, Greg spent a fair amount of time getting a really cool amount of sim done for this, that's so we, we may regret these life choices later. But it's well, okay. We'll just we'll just, just open it all the way and do the thing. Just more engines, bro. That's all we need. We can. I'm assuming right. there's more than just the one engine, right? Like we can buy all. Well, sorts. there's four or five locomotive types you can buy. Uh, they're all kind of in the same vein of this super super early European style, which is kind of neat. Um, but yeah, we can buy more engines for sure. I I don't know how much money we like an engine costs. We didn't get it too hard into the economy in uh, the video that I did with Greg, but let's see. All right, this track's a little bit s bendy, but you know, it's it's fine. This is this that that hill is the spice. Uh, uh yeah, well you know, uh oh my god, hey hey bro, <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, I'm attempting to slow down. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Let me just put this. Let me put this switch in here. Okay, left switch. Uh, no, I need a switch. I'm not sure how you rotate cost, the uh, buffers. The pieces yet. Oh, good. The goodness, Con. Did oh, I geez, slay this track? What the heck, man? Well, you know, it's a tight area. I don't. Are you fine? You're okay. <laughs> we haven't gone in the dirt yet, so it's You're fine. Good. Look, look, look at this. It's. A, it doesn't get better. I'm telling you right now. It's not gonna get. <laughs> we'll smooth it out later. The nice thing with these splines is I can just like place and delete a spline and then smooth it out later. Look at that. That's nice. All right. Are we going to make it back up the hill? I don't know. I kind of doubt, but. Okay. Well, you can lay the next spline of track, bro. Look at that. Look at that. We're delivering it cactus. We, we are loading the cactus logs. <laughs> the cactus which, logs. Which looks suspiciously look like, like regular logs. <laughs> Interestingly enough, too, as you can see from the that in the cactus camp, there's no cactus around. We're just harvesting them from the We're mountainside. Just, yeah, they've, they've already logged all of the cactus, the, the timber. It's a very prickly business. Watch your steam chest. Like, you don't need as much throttle as you think. What do you Let's mean? See. Where's my steam chest? What? It's the second gauge. 
not the Kessel Druck. The Kessel Druck is your boiler pressure. Um, <laughs> the other one is for steam chest. Okay, so, so you, I got if you five... open the throttle, if you open the throttle, you'll charge the steam chest, and right. then like it actually does the thing. Like, but then the locomotive. reverser delivers the power. Wait, so this is an actual like steam locomotive? Sim? The actual steam steam sim is actually pretty good, and, and Greg. So you can't load, you can't load the cordwood with this. Uh, it doesn't seem like it. It's not letting me pick the cordwood. Or oh, hang on. No, no. Oh my uh, god. I didn't understand the UI. Yeah, the whistle's very. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right, so let me get this okay, straight. Okay, I cannot load cordwood on this flat car. Uh, let's try the stake flat car. Uh, bring it back. Two and a half, three cars. And this, you'll notice that the safety valve is going off all the time because some dingbat named Heist loaded the uh, firebox up with coal. So wait, Keep let me going. get this straight. Like, if my steam chest goes above five bar, then it'll also, um, like it'll so also steam, blow the safety steam valve. Chest, well, no, the safety valve is tied to the boiler. Okay. So your steam chest is just what you have on the piston. So you'll see you'll like stop, and there will still be stuff uh, in the steam chest. And I don't right, think these are the right surge. cars for. Yeah, it'll surge when you kick the brake off. These are not the right cars for Cordwood. Cordwood does not want to. All right, well, let's just head on back then. Let's just, you know. We, we can get one more log. Oh, okay, do that. Load up the log. Yeah, one more log uh, ended up spawning. So just pop, like, there we go. Okay, we got it. Um, okay, I'm going to ride, but that might cause a, a space slap. We'll, we'll have to see. If, if two players ride the same train sometimes, uh, that's the one glitch that Greg's been working on. Uh, it happens in our video. So, wait, let me get this space, straight. But... If I'm if I'm charging up the steam chest, right, you and then... You can the throttle and it'll keep going for a little bit. Right, but if I, like, why... Oh, oh. yep, there it is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, now we have to re-rail these. <laughs> wait, so that only happened because you were also riding on the same train? Right. Apparently there's some networking thing that's weird specific to Roblox where... Okay. Um, where the train doesn't know who owns it. Oh, so uh, that Luckily, out. the rerail tool in this game does not suck. So, um, it seems like everything cars, in this game is awesome. All of the cars are almost back on the track. Those are too close together. Oh. There we go. Okay, Dude, the yeah, fact that back. I have to. The f uh oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you hit hard enough, the couplers automatically couple as well. But let's see. There yeah, we go. Yeah, the fact that I have to actually manage my throttle, though, and then, like, all right, all tied together. Take it back and give it no. give it the beans, Con. Oh, oh, hang on. Hold that on, couple didn't on. go. Sorry, I lied to you. This is sick, dude. I love the fact dude, that it's, there's an it's actual. So... Oh, easy, 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 easy. Bang. Oh, what? what? Okay. Not hard. Physics, enough? physics, physics happened. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We good? And dunk. Come. Keep the power on. Compress the joint, please. And I will manually drop the, the, the coupler. They're, oh, there we go. Oh, there's yeah. actual couplers. They're, they're, okay. they're Norwegian chop couplers. They're very neat. Kind of a unique design. All right, now give it the beans. Go, do the thing. And I, I this, shall this run is out ahead this and is watch. A, like, this is a two, it's a two, two, two. It's a two, two, two. It is an ancient, sad, it's a not two, very two, powerful two. locomotive. You've got like five bar. Five bar is nothing for boiler pressure. Yeah, That's dude, like... I, I have, I love the fact that the, the by the way, the, um, the fact that the firebox chuffs with the, the firebox chuffs like the real thing. It does the dance, and it then does when the you, if you so click if on I want to go up this hill though, put, should I be max reverse or max throttle, or should I be give like, it everything? Give it everything you can. You're gonna need everything. So max you, reverse or max throttle. And if you if you don't have steam, you need more coal. We're not, we're not. Yeah, and this is you 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 made a roller coaster, Con. <laughs> okay, well, what do you do? You want to snake it up and down that heist? And, uh... Uh, that's I mean that's probably the ideal. All strategy. right, you go snake it. I'll go move us over to the cactus farm and pick up whatever logs spawn. You you work on snaking us back <laughs> oh, up then. Oh boy, <laughs> he's gonna have me lay track, everyone. Oh boy. That's how confident I am with the track builder in this game. <laughs> Even ice can do this. Look. Okay, so if you wanted to get a steam engine going is there any like justification oh my god what did you build i built the trestle because there there, there was not space to continue going that way okay, so, okay. You know. are you using like the forced grade yeah i'm using two percent down right now oh god so so it's gonna be a lot we're making, of a spiral we're gonna make the the, the spaghetti here it's, That's uh, it's awesome. great so I just did like a 12 and a half, 20% nonsense, basically. 
Yeah, yours was yeah a little 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 crazy there, but yeah. But anyway, so okay, so if you're trying to get a heavy train started, is there any benefit to like keeping the brake on and putting pressure into the cylinder before you release the brake? Uh, absolutely. When you're starting off from a standstill, uh, that way you don't roll to start. Right. Um, it doesn't really get you like a oh we're gonna charge it and do the thing benefit unless you've got the slack in the train bunched up. So if you bunch up all the cars and you like set the last handbrake on the last car and then go from there, like that can help. All right, there we go. Now we've got an infant <laughs> bridge followed by some more floating fill, but we've just made, this is the spaghettiest train set nonsense that I've ever Dude, made. Dude, this is as fast as it goes. So if we can't like- It's not a speedy boy, but it's a 2% grade for the most part. So yeah, but we're only maintaining like three bar of active pressure while it's well, running. Well, you need more coal in the hole then, but- I've, I've been shoveling like mad. Do I just keep shoveling? like? How high is the, the coal level adjusts? Is it up to the top? The flames? No, the flames aren't at the top. Not the flames, the coal level in there. The actual animation of the coal will increase. I don't see the coal animation. <laughs> well, there's, oh, there's oh, not Oh my enough. god, I finally start to see the coal. No, it's not at the top. I you, were, you were just like out then. Yeah. I was just out of coal. Oh my god, I just need, to keep, I need a shovel for days. On. Don't worry, we're slowly picking it up. You're, you're, you're Dude, making look at how, it. Look at how black my smoke is. You're, this you're is changing so the color of the smoke. We're, yeah. we're not burning clean, bro. <laughs> yeah, okay, you're probably, that's probably enough coal now. No, and no, no. We need you it. spam we need click it. it and it will, it, you will just get stuck in that animation. See, so you sometimes have to jump out to stop the coal uh, because it just cues however many times you click the button. And knowing you, you probably just went, <laughs> so. We're shoveling for days. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> uh, dude, this is it. This is it. Look at that. Look at that. The smoke's cleared up. It's getting whiter as go. we put more draft in. I didn't realize exactly. it was an actual That's... coal beater. Uh oh. We hit the... the cactus. Oh god, is the cactus <laughs> actually a thing? Hang on. Let me turn on delete mode. You gotta, you gotta delete, delete the, the tree, man. You, you gotta clear the tree out of the way. Yeah. How do I get rid of the cactus? I don't know. There's, got, there's a cut trees button. Click the cut is trees there? button. Yeah, the build menu. Cut trees. There it is. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. All Eat right. it, cactus. Half... <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're flying. Oh my god, we got we got pressure for days now. Oh yeah, baby. The Sherbert casting is really flying, and the <laughs> Kessel Druck <laughs> is. Look at the spaghetti. Yeah, no, that's good. It's a good thing we're only a 222, man. We've got no wheelbase to worry about. Right. <laughs> Pivoting. We don't do that here. No, man, these are great. Oh, so this, this is, is a real a this is a real too. locomotive a 222 is a real thing that they in back in this era yeah uh, all of the locomotives are actually built uh based off of a uh, prototype as far as i know wow this is nice you, you kind of the ground fill there is a little sketch too but that's okay yeah i need to change that to a stone wall i think as well this is great look at this we're i can't believe how this is how much track you need to actually yeah, that's the, that's the thing of railroad. If you want to do it at 2%, you have to spaghetti your way across the valley. Had we known the elevation change was so much, we like would have started out much differently and, and weaved without using the bridge and everything. But, you know, I'm here for this shenanigan that I've built. Well, we so. can try going to the other cactus if you want. Well, that could be fun. That might be, it might be less less 2%, but I feel like it's also going to be 2%. I love the terraforming in this. It's great. Right. You need, a, you need to put terrain, more brick man. down, though, Heist. You're missing some oh, is, is there more floating tracks? There. There's a lot of floating track. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get it adjusted. I yeah, no, this is we'll, cool. We'll I love it. this terraforming. This is sweet with the boards. Just, uh, dude. Yeah, cuts, tunnels, yeah. things that trains actually have. And it significantly increases the cost of laying track. Like, laying track is cheap. Doing earthwork and building trestles is expensive. Right. Like, that is the thing. You spent $1,300 to build your chunk of track down there, and I spent $5,200. You also this. built like five times as much track, though. I didn't build five times as much track, though. I probably built three times as much, but the, there is an increased cost for earthworks and fills and uh, trestles. So, well, it's I'm still shoveling coal, so. Well, you can jump out of the engine to cancel that because if you just yeet click it, uh, yeah, you, you'll, 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 you'll just do that forever. He's for days, man. He's really Really... He's he's got to get after it. Okay. Yeah, he's it's, it's working, man. He's going up a hill. You know, the engine's working. It's drafting hard. That coal's just incinerating off the shovel. 
before it even hits the firebox. <laughs> you know? You must get that. If you throw in, like, really, like, coal powder, it must just incinerate in midair before it even... Oh, God, abs absolutely, like just, whoosh, yeah. just a fire... They, they always say that the, um, that the big engines that run with stokers, like an automatic auger-powered stoker, right? they always say that they actually did not have a fire that burned like a fire bed. It was just a floating mass of right. coal that was incinerating on the way, like, just as it did. Okay, so this one is significantly easier to build to, it seems like. That's good. I'm gonna unload these logs uh, at the freight yeah. depot. The freight have... depot is uh, not great to drunk stuff off at, economy-wise. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the much, pawn uh, shop. It's the, it's the pawn shop, exactly. So you, you get, like, really, really crap prices for your goods there. But we don't have anything else yet, and we're gonna go connect to another cactus camp so we can go load over here. Oh, there goes that pressure release valve, being all pressure release-like. Yep, doing it, doing its thing. Like instantly, it just goes. Psh, like. As soon as you stop working it, yeah, the sim yeah. is there, and it's cool. And it's very yeah. loud. It is very loud. Okay, this is slightly uphill. That All right, way, so, so so basically, since I'm over cold, there's nothing I can do to stop the pressure release valve from just popping off. Like I'm yep. just. Yep. Your coal's in there. You can't take the coal back out once you put it in. So it's a that's a neat thing. You're just gonna have to sit there and listen to that. And guess what happens on the real engine? That precisely that. You sit there and so. listen to it. How do I yep, unload? You sit there and unload this. Uh, oh yeah, making fourteen dollars a log, bro. Dude, just making making Look at it, making it bank. R S R. 1A1 T class C. That must be what we have right now, right? Like, I don't know. Is I'm gonna buy it. No it's only picture? 9,400. Oh, yep, that's exactly what we have right now. Well, well, now we've now we've got two of them. And uh, this one's on the flat car. So, <laughs> you, you know, you just uh, just made that happen. It just, just that's how that works. So the the neat thing is like. We're gonna have to connect to other industries and make more money, right? Because we only made a little bit with the freight depot. Yeah. But you can make even more money when you actually play the economy, because the cargo chain, you like, you look at the cactus camp and realize that it, it can accept machine shop tools. So if you build right. to the machine shop and supply the machine shop, you can then resupply the other industries to get bonus cargo or bonus money. Like there is an in-depth economy in this in this Roblox game. I had no idea I, I that there was the this much stuff the, going on. Like, more so than the economy being in depth, I love the fact that the steam is simulated. Like, I'm shoveling coal into this thing, and there's no draft, so it is just spewing black Rolling smoke. Rolling black smoke. Like, yeah. it is just gross. <laughs> there's oh, no so draft. Is, are you running the new one, or am I running? The, well, which I, was one just, did we I was just hooking this up. I don't care who runs which one. Oh, I don't know. I, don't, I, I just didn't know if we, like, had a color choice. Or not. Oh yeah, there was. I just it defaulted to green, so I was like, "Well, we're, that's, well, that's... they they were green." So, and yeah, I got a little two percent grade to work up, and and you use the steam expansively when you run with the reversers. So the ideal thing is to run the throttle wide open and then feed the reverser as you need more speed. So you want to run it as close to center as you can, but if you start slowing down real bad, then you can kick it more into right, the corner. Right. So like your reverser is going to pull steam from your boiler pressure and put it into the Schieberkasten. Well, but, your Schieberkasten gets charged up by the throttle. By the throttle. And then the reverser determines how much of the Schieberkasten is used per stroke. Right. Basically. So once you're going, you want to use as little as possible. Precisely. Thank you. Yeah. That. And so you, by using the reverser closer to center, you achieve that. I just accidentally re-railed like a car onto myself. Nailed it. Mistakes were made. I'm blown away that this is in Roblox. Like it Right. It, it, it is makes me so feel weird. Good. You know? Like it's it's too good <laughs> for what it is. Like it's ridiculous. Alright, that's gonna be a problem, but that's a problem for later me to solve. I love so the fact that there. I actually have to manage my reverser to try and keep as much pressure in the steam chest as I can so that when I need the power, it's there and not just, like, bleeding the steam chest dry. Right, and it's not just blind, set the sticks and go. Like, it's, you're actually, you're actually operating the train. In real life, you have two gauges like that? Like, you have a pressure gauge on the steam chest and you have another one on super, the boiler? Super, super cool and or modern engines have steam chest gauges, but uh, my old school stuff, none of ours have those. We just have a main pressure gauge and then you, you listen and you feel. Wow. All right, you're lined over to the new second Dude, I'm hauling. I am, look at it, I'm like barely using you're any speeding. reverser. 
and I'm picking up so much speed. Yeah, dude, it's it's super easy to, to run uphill unloaded, so. Oh, this is cool. I like this. And then if I crank the reverser on, it actually gets worse. Oh, because I'm going the wrong way. Because you went all the way, yeah. <laughs> you, you, you Johnson stopped it. Yeah. That's neat. Yeah, so if we you pull up and low. you can load... Yeah, we're, we, we didn't quite hit the height of the industry, but it works. So, you know, uh, you just hit E when you're at the industry, and then, yeah, you do the thing. And while you do that, I'm oh going to run down dude. the hill. We, I just loaded so fast, and I didn't even have to play Loading Simulator 5000. Dude, it's it's pretty sweet, isn't it? This is great. I'm just going right. to shove through this, and you're just going to chase. I'm going to chase you, man. <laughs> so this uh, th There is a spicy curve on this, and it's 2% down, but I, I have faith. I have faith. All right, so I should put the reverser to zero, bring Whoa, my throttle okay. back. I mean, you don't need to have it at zero. You know, close to center is probably what you want. Right. Uh, that corner looks a little spicy, doesn't it? Oof. I just ran around it at full, uh, full tilt, so. Get the Schreiber casting full up. All right, I'm lined into the siding, so I'm just gonna slam on my brake, jump out, and I'm gonna line you to the freight depot so you can unload first. If you're oh, a I'm going to, I'm gonna oh, Tokyo gonna drift my engine in the way. <laughs> if your if your reverse is at zero, are you delivering any uh, steam? The valve still has some movement, right, across it the piston. De it depends on the type of locomotive, because of course it does. Um, are there any that are like a perfect seal here. though, where it would actually go to zero delivered? Yes, there are some types of valves here that do that, and it, it just Sorry, I can't on... hear you over my pressure relief valve going off every 13 seconds. Hey, man, you did that to yourself. If you need to uh, it bleeds some off, you know, just run it in the corner and, and bleed your steam off. What? Run, run with the reverser all the way open and right. open the throttle a bunch. You'll draft the crap out of the fire, you'll use some steam, and... Wait, like, like put my reverser all the way to full, but have the brake on? All the way on? to full. I mean, you can have the brake on and just work it, or you just go, like, whatever you want to do, but that's going to work the fire a bunch. Wait, so and that's how just, you like, can calm the fire back down. and forth, essentially? If you want to. Yeah, if it's super, super high, but... Oh, did you hear that? Dude, the, the chuffs when the engine's pissed and you're getting, like, big <laughs> chuffs. I put it in a bad spot. It was not... This, there, dude, it sounds so cool. Um, it was hilarious. The first time I filmed with Greg, we actually had to throw out the recording because the game's chuffs were so loud. It was religious. I loved it. I love the fact that we've only been at this for, like, you know, 20 minutes or so. And, and we've already achieved some things. Yeah. yeah, you've already got, like, two industries connected, albeit they're we, the same we got ones. A and we've engine got, and... got engines, got two trains. We can buy more cars, you know? Like, we're really just rocking. All right, I'm excited to get some of the bigger engines because the 222, like yeah, these are literally get... foreign looking, but the we gotta connect to that machine like... shop up there. I think we gotta look at. Actually, we should just look at the industry charts and make our decisions from there. Make you know? a decision, and... yeah. Figure out what's the the what... smartest one to get to next. Yeah, and then do multiple train runs and all that. But uh, yeah, let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm I'm blown away with how good this is. Like honestly, dude, it's so rad. When you Super were all rad. like, "Yo, Con, come play Roblox," I was like, "Yeah, I don't know, man." But that this is sick. This is this actually. Is actually actually super well done and there's apparently yeah. a lot of really well done train games out there in roblox which is i had no clue it, this is kind of after my time being you know an elder millennial or whatever so it's very cool but thanks so much for watching guys and uh, let us know if you like this and we'll uh, we'll make it a series bye